Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. In today's video, from physics subject, motion topic we are going to discuss. So, in our previous videos, we learnt about scalars and vectors, like their examples, vector notation, types of vectors, and the distance, displacement, speed, velocity, change of velocity, acceleration, average instantaneous acceleration. Uh, uniform acceleration or constant acceleration, non-uniform acceleration, deceleration and about equations of motions we have discussed. Uh, first equation of motion, second one, third one and some problems. After that, uh, graphs we have studied, displacement time graphs and the uh, first type, second type, third type and the uh, some conclusions. After that velocity time graphs we have studied. When it is parallel to time axis, how to calculate slope and area. Uh, when it is not parallel to uh, time axis, when it is a straight line, starting from origin, starting from some other point. In that case, slope and area we have calculated. And uh, when the velocity is decreasing, in that case also slope and area we have calculated. When velocity time graph is a curve that we have studied and some about conclusions we have studied. Next slide, our today's topic regarding acceleration time graphs. So, acceleration time graphs. So, here acceleration means rate of change of velocity. How the velocity is changing, in how much time, how much velocity is changing. If it is, if the velocity is increasing, it is called acceleration. If the velocity is decreasing, it is called deceleration. It is also one kind of negative acceleration. So, here uh, the below figure, this figure represents acceleration time graph, acceleration time graph. Here, AB. AB is the acceleration time graph uh, which is coinciding with time axis. The acceleration time graph AB is a straight line, but it is coinciding with the time axis. On the coordinate axis, on the y axis, we have taken acceleration, on the vertical axis, we have taken acceleration. On the horizontal axis or on the x axis, we have taken time, time in seconds. So, here AB line is coinciding with the coinciding with the uh, x axis or time axis. So, if it is uh, coinciding with time axis, it is a y value, y coordinate value at any point here 1, comma 0. 2 comma 0, 3 comma 0, 4 comma 0, 5 comma 0. If you check at any point on AB line, in every point the y coordinate is 0. Y coordinate means the value of acceleration is 0, means there is no acceleration in the body. When there will be no acceleration, when there is no change in velocity or when the velocity is uniform, at that time acceleration will be 0. So, here acceleration is 0, which means the body is moving with uniform velocity. So, whenever the acceleration time graph is coinciding with time axis, we can directly say that the acceleration of the body is 0 or the body is moving with uniform velocity. Next, case 2. The figure represents an acceleration time graph AB, AB acceleration time graph which is parallel to time axis, which is parallel to time axis. So, in this case also at any point here 1 comma 4 the coordinates of the point are x value 1, y value 4, here x value 2, y value 4, 2 comma 4, here 3 comma 4, here 4 comma 4, 
at every point y value is constant means acceleration of the body is constant 4 meter per second square which is not changing which is not changing so here what we can uh, tell this condition the body is traveling with uniform acceleration uniform acceleration and variable velocity in the previous case zero acceleration in the previous case the body is traveling with zero acceleration and uniform uniform velocity but here in this case the acceleration is not zero but the acceleration is constant means the velocity is changing but the change is constant so that's why acceleration is constant so in this case we can tell uh, it is traveling with the uniform acceleration and uh, variable velocity is changing variable velocity but the change of velocity is constant so that's why uniform acceleration so as the acceleration is not changing so the body is moving with the uniform acceleration and variable velocity so in this case the area of the graph if we join if we draw perpendicular lines from a and b to the x axis we will get a rectangle and the area of this rectangle gives the uh, velocity gives the velocity of the body gives the velocity of the body next another case uh, the figure represents acceleration time graph so ab here acceleration time graph is ab moving away from time axis moving away from time axis as well as moving away from acceleration axis means neither parallel to time time axis nor parallel to acceleration axis so in this case if you check at any point so here 1 comma 2 2 comma 4 3 comma 6 4 comma 8 4 comma 8 so the acceleration is changing and velocity will be changing so in this type of cases both the velocity both the acceleration will change so body will be traveling with variable velocity and variable acceleration and the area of the graph if you join with coordinate axis area of the graph gives the velocity gives the velocity here area of the graph means from b point if you draw a perpendicular line it will intersect x axis at a point c so area of the graph is half into base into height so half into base into height half into ac into ab or ab in r Half into AC into BC channel. Half AC into BC. So in the graph, values are not given um, exactly, children. Values are not given exactly. Here, one, two, three, four. Four seconds here acceleration this is wrong children so half into AC value if we take up to four up to here if we take up to here, uh, AC value will be 4 and uh, BC value will be 8. So, half into 4 into 8, 2, 2 times 4, 
to 8 times 16 meter per second is the velocity. 16 meter per second is the velocity of the body. Like this, we have some cases to learn. Still, some more cases are there which you can learn in your higher classes. This is about acceleration time graphs. So, the chapter completed children. So, let us revise the concepts, definitions and formulae which we have learnt in this chapter or which we have discussed so far. Let us revise the series of points. So, first point, the quantities which require only magnitude means only value. Magnitude means like 10 meter is a magnitude means product of numerical value into standard unit is called magnitude without direction. So, the quantities which require only magnitude for their complete specifications or complete description and having no direction associated with them are called scalar quantities. Are called scalar quantities. One material. And like time, like time is a scalar quantity which depends, which will be having only the magnitude. Next, quantities which require both magnitude and direction for that complete specification or complete description, they are called vectors. Such type of quantities are called vectors. Example, velocity, force, acceleration, displacement, these are all vectors. Next, the physical quantities like electric current. So, normally in our house, we will make use of electricity or the electricity which is in flow, it is called electric current, uh, which will uh, run our, which will be useful for uh, running our electric appliances in our home like the refrigerator, uh, television, like so many electrical equipments. So, that kind of quantities, they possess magnitude and direction, but still they are not vectors. Still they are not vectors. Though they are having uh, both magnitude and direction, but still they are not considered as vectors. And any form of energy, any form of energy is a scalar, like solar energy, chemical energy, nuclear energy, any form of energy is a scalar. So, next representation of vector. So, a vector can be represented by a straight line with an arrowhead, straight line with an arrowhead. So, what are like vectors or what are parallel vectors? Vectors which are in the same direction. If AB vector is pointing to this direction, if BC vector also have the same direction, then they are called like vectors. If they are, if their directions are different, they are called unlike vectors, anti-parallel vectors. If they start from same point, same point, they are called co-initial vectors. If they end at same point, if they end at same point, then they are called co-terminal vectors. If uh, AB vector, if this is AB vector, uh, so 5 meter length towards each direction. We have another vector 5 meters length in west direction, which is BA. Both are having same magnitude, but uh, mutually opposite to one another. Then this BA, this is AB vector, this BA vector, then BA vector is considered as negative vector of AB. Suppose this is 5 meter towards east, another vector also 5 meter towards east. If they have same magnitude and same direction, then they are called equal vectors. Or the vectors which are acting in the same plane, their magnitudes and directions may be different, but if they lie in the same plane, they are called coplanar vectors. Coplanar vectors. So, this is AB vector 
another vector ba also another vector bc also lying on the same line means the sum of the one or two vectors if they are lying in the same straight line they are called collinear vectors suppose one vector is having 5 meters magnitude and east direction if the suppose if this vector is ab bar ab bar vector if any vector if any vector is divided by its magnitude is divided by its magnitude like modulus of ab bar then we will get unit vector of that particular vector because 5 meters towards towards east direction is divided by 5 is divided by 5 its magnitude then 5 1 is 1 is 1 1 meter means 1 unit towards east direction if any vector is divided by its magnitude then its unit vector ab cap then its unit vector will come means which is having unit magnitude and whose direction will be same in the uh, original vector direction whose properties are same like the original vector so that is called unit vector unit vector is represented by cap means one unit value so zero vector a vector which is having zero magnitude but some direction is called zero vector or another name null vector next proper vector means vector whose magnitude is not zero it is called proper vector so position vector means in the coordinate axis a vector which originates from the origin and which terminates at some other point in the coordinate system it tells the position of that uh, vector so that is called position vector non planar vectors if this is one plane if this is another plane the vectors acting in this plane and the vectors acting in another plane are considered as non planar vectors because they are acting in different planes next displacement time graphs if the graph is parallel to time axis then the body is stationary if the graph is straight line but not parallel to time axis then the body is moving with uniform velocity if the graph is a curve then the body is moving with variable velocity so the graph line can never be parallel to displacement axis if this is displacement if this is time graph can never be parallel to displacement axis why means if it is so in same time the body will be having different displacements which is highly impossible means the uh, displacement increases or the uh, uh, displacement increases indefinitely without any increase in time which is highly impossible so velocity time graphs when the velocity time graph parallel to time axis body is moving with uniform velocity so when the velocity time graph straight line but not parallel to any axis the body is moving with variable velocity variable velocity when the velocity time graph is a curve the body is moving with variable velocity variable acceleration so equations of motion v equal to u plus at one equation s equal to ut plus half at square v square minus u square equal to 2as equations of motion means they are applicable for uniformly accelerated bodies they will give the relation between the quantities v u a t s uh, when a body is uh, moving with the uniform acceleration then the relation between final velocity initial velocity acceleration time displacement is given by three equations they are known as equations of motion
occasional remaining problems we can discuss in our next video. That's all for today, children. Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates. So please visit our website, children, www.aimstudy.in for information regarding previous online classes, quizzes, worksheets, activities, English classes, coding skills. Thank you, children. Have a good day.